Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Guys, uh, appreciate you coming back to watch me today. I want to come back and review a watch uh, I've reviewed, shoot, uh, I don't know, years ago, actually. And, uh, you know, I, I don't have the box. It's not going to be an unboxing video, but I want to share with you guys the Visser Dive watch. Uh, now, I wanted to come back and re-review this watch because I've been re-releasing some of my older videos. And, frankly, um... You know, the older videos, <laughs> I know a lot of you will agree, the lighting was pretty bad. Uh, although it's not, I guess, up to par with what some of you would like, there's lots of guys making great content out there. I try to make these as fast as possible and really get them out there in a kind of raw, authentic um, kind of fashion. Um, you know, and so I, I just don't want to clutter up my office with... <laughs> it's about me. I don't want to clutter up my office with a bunch of lights. Um, I do have some lights on. I do kind of kind of create the mood a little bit. I do have some lights right in front of me, and these lights do help to give you guys a better idea what these watches actually look like. Um, and, you know, frankly, the channel's grown a lot. I've, I've learned a lot more when it comes to, you know, putting these videos together, keywords and stuff, and I wanted to come back and re-review it. Um, the kind of cool thing about YouTube is you can put up videos whenever you want. The only downside is sometimes you'll put up a video and, um, it just, no matter, you could do a video on the same topic of something that you've, that you've already done that's been successful, and uh, reach people, let people discover the brand, and put up another one, and it doesn't do anything. So, kind of at the mercy of YouTube, even if you do all the right things. So, um, you know, I want to come back and share this with you guys, because it is a watch worth men mentioning. Uh, what kind of sparked this today was the guy asked if I ever reviewed microbrand watches. So I did a video about microbrand watches, and I want to review this microbrand company. Now, some people out there who are watching this will be like, well, when I mention microbrand, they're telling me how I'm rolling that's not a microbrand. By my definition, again, we don't have to be watch snobs. We know people don't have to be microbrand snobs now. In my, by my definition, a microbrand is any watch that's not mainstream that you're not going to find in a big box store or plastered all over the internet. You kind of have to really hunt for it. And Visser is that brand. So Visser was nice enough to send me one of their watches uh, right when I started branching off and reviewing all kinds of watches. Uh, I'd say probably about four or five years ago, maybe. I don't know if I, just, I might have just said three. I, I really kind of forget. Um, it's been, I'd say, about five years. It's been a while. Uh, and this watch, I, I wear all the time. Um, you might be saying, damn, that's small. It is small, um, but not really small by no, you know normal watch wearer's definition. Uh, I, I think this is a 42, and I'll read the specs here in just a second. Let me just move this um, over to my other screen here. Uh, there we go. So I have all the information here. All right. So a little bit about the watch. Visser Dive watches uh, is kind of like I don't know. We don't want to call it the baby, but it's 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 a watch that's uh, that's produced by two brothers. Um, I'm not going to mention their name. Bob and Bob and Bob. I think uh, I always say their name wrong. Uh, but I don't know if they want me to mention name. But anyway, um, they own Vostal fishing reels, and I believe Visser has their own fishing reels as well. Uh, very successful brand, very well-known brand, making high-quality fishing reels. Uh, we, if you are a fisherman, you know, which I love to fish. I don't get to do it very often, but uh, you know, I, I've always used pretty inexpensive reels. But there's all different, like anything else, there's all different grades of reels and, and products out there. And they do make, from what I've read, a pretty high quality, uh, pretty, you know, expensive, more on the upper tier, I'd say. You know, I'm the guy just, you know, I've always used like Daiwa and they're great Shimano and stuff like that. But this is kind of a little bit of a step up, a, a little a bit of a step above, um, or Von Stahl. And so they basically came up with an idea. And I, I do love stories like this because this is kind of the kind of brand that, you know, everybody makes watches, right? There's so many choices out there and lots of great quality. But this is the kind of watch where you can really tell that these two dudes put in some passion in thinking about this brand and really making it a cool themed watch. I don't know what Visser's sales are like. I don't know what their volume's like. But I'll tell you, I know what their their um, their web presence is like. And it's, it's not very good. It's really hard to find this brand. And that might be something that they're looking to go after to keep kind of like... Uh, their brand kind of like unknown and really for, you know, I don't want to say an elite group of people because it is an affordable watch, but, um, you know, just, I don't know. Some brand, everybody has a different idea what they want out of their brand. Um, however, with that being said, they have dropped their price from when they first sent me this watch. So to me, if you drop your price, it's because you're not getting the sales at the price point you were hoping for. Now, which is incredible because really this is a killer watch. Now, as I said, with any watches out there, there is lots of markup in watches. 
And the price of a watch really determines what it costs to make. A company who's going to have their watches made in China at a, a factory that's tooled up, and we've all seen these brands that you can find all over AliExpress, Amazon, they pop up. They're just basically like your Rolex Submariner homage watches. They're exactly like many other brands out there. They just have different logos, different branding. At the end of the day, they're pretty much the same watch. Uh, slight differences, but nothing really notable. You know, may, one may have a Seiko movement, one may have a Miyota. Not really much of a difference. So uh, with a brand like this, this company, I don't know, you know if they make this in their own factory or what. I wish I had more information. I did email them. They haven't gotten back to me. Not sure what's going on. I hope everything's okay. Uh, but uh, this is a brand that, you know, if they are outsourcing this, when you're dealing with outsourcing a, let's say you want to have a product done, there is a minimum for having those products produced. There is a, a higher cost if it's not something that's, you know, if you want to pr have produced a watch that a company's already tooled up and set up for, it's going to be cheaper than something really kind of one-off. And this is really I mean, a very unique watch. There is nothing out there on the market like this. And I have been looking at watches for my almost my entire life, and there is nothing I've seen to date that is anything like this. Sorry, we're getting a little reflection here, but we just got to kind of bear with that. Uh, it is unique. It is, without a doubt, if you're wearing a Visser Dive watch, nobody is going to mistake in this for anything else if they know what this is. The quality is exceptional. Um, and again, remember with quality, I'm not trying to say that this watch, you know, to be honest with everybody, I'm not going to say this watch is better than your $99 Pro Diver, because it's not. It's on par. There are differences uh, which make the watch more money, but really, you know, with watches, you do pay for where it's made, how it's made, what went into making the watch, and of course, the price, price point that companies want to set it at. With this, I think that you are paying for this unique name and Again, it is a great quality watch. So let's talk about what you get. So just, I mean, I, I, I get excited every time I look at this watch because, but, you know, these two brothers are very generous in trusting me and sending me this watch to share in the channel. You know, a lot of times with companies, I love to talk. <laughs> a lot of times with companies are going to send a watch. I can totally relate to a company saying, well, we don't know what kind of return we're going to get on sending this guy a watch. I don't know what this watch actually costs them to make. Granted, I don't work for free, and that's business, you know, I mean, like anybody, you know, just because you're sending somebody something for free doesn't mean that, you know, you're, you're doing them a favor. They are working, and I put up a lot of content on this watch already, and I keep coming back to it because I do believe in the brand, and I do believe in the quality you get, and I think that this is such a great watch that if you haven't discovered this, I really hope that you you get this brand, you know. Uh, now, I don't have an affiliate agreement. You guys know my links are generally affiliate links. If you go to Evicta stores, if you find value in what I'm sharing with you guys, whether it's something I bought or part of a collaboration agreement, if you find value in my video, it's a way you can give back uh, to, you know, uh, I get a small commission back on affiliate links, how that works. Uh, of course, with YouTube, when you watch the videos, there's YouTube ad revenue. There's nothing. This is business. There's nothing. Uh, there's no big secret on how it all works. You can Google all this stuff. But unfortunately, Visser doesn't have uh, any kind of affiliate program. Uh, I can't send you to Amazon to maybe buy it and get a 5% commission. Uh, I can't send you to eBay. Uh, although I do put eBay links on Visser watches so that if one does pop up that's pre-owned, it might, it might fulfill your need if you're looking for one. Uh, but ultimately, I'll probably gonna send you right to Visser. Um, now, um, it may be a referral link so I could track how many people are actually going to their site. It's my way of tracking that kind of stuff and just kind of seeing where how the video is doing, how people are clicking. But um, at the end of the day, you'll most likely be buying from Visser Direct. Um, now, I will tell you that I hope, again, everything's all right with them because I've emailed both the two brothers on two occasions now and I haven't heard back. You know, we are in the middle of a pandemic, whether you believe we are or not. Uh, things are, have gotten better, of course, but I just hope they're okay. You know, they're older gentlemen. Uh, I just hope the company is doing well. So, uh, so price point in this right now. Let's talk about the specifics of the watch. I wish I had the box. This does come in a beautiful box if that's your thing. For me, it gets tucked away because I, I lock all these up. Uh, but as far as the presentation, I mean, giving this, like when you look at Invicta box, I'm always like, oh man, you know, Invicta, I hate, I don't like the Invicta box at all. They, I mean, I basically throw them away. The dive cases I repurpose. Um, you know, a lot of watch boxes, for, to me, I never I never really care about the watch boxes. I'm not going to store it in that. But as far as the presentation, 
Uh, the Visser box is probably hands down the nicest box that I've ever seen come with any of the watches that I have. Hands down. Uh, it is gorgeous. The other one that was just as nice was the Aqua Dive. Um, and, you know, they, the company, again, I, I, this company has really taken the time to present an awesome product. So, let's start with the movement. Miota Caliber 9015 Automatic. Now, here's where the price points, kind of, you know, some of you who know a little bit about watches and know what different watches cost. Remember, a Rolex watch is not worth 20 grand. It's only worth 20 grand because people are willing to pay that for it. Uh, and so, there's nothing in any of those watches that makes that watch so superior that it needs to cost that, okay? Even 5,000. So just keep in mind, when it comes to these movements, companies like this don't do their movements in-house, which to me is I would rather a company outsource their movement unless they're a company who's established with the, you know, in making quality movements. Seiko, Miota, they've been around forever making movements. That was you, ETA, you know, those movements have been around forever and that's all they specialize in. So to me, I like the idea of having somebody who specializes in the movement. This way the company, like this in this case, can really focus on design and quality of design rather than worrying about having a quality movement because the quality movements are already out there, right? So now again, when it comes to price point, movement does not determine the price of a watch. This movement you can find in watches in the $100 price range and up. So just to give you guys a few examples of watches that use this exact movement, uh, you can find this used in Ally Express Cadison watches. Uh, you can find it used in, uh, looks like Kronos, Deep Blue, uh, Aragon, or under the old Android name have used this movement. Um, another one here, Croget. Uh, what else? Wholesale movements, 9105. This is $136 just for the movement. Uh, what else we got here? Anything else? Uh, Cadison again, Reef Tiger, <clears throat> uh, NEDSS, I've never heard of that watch, Flagship, Ajax, another one, Oceanic, um, anyway, I'm not going to read them all to you, Iron Watch, There's a, you can just Google and find all different watches that have used this movement, it's a, you know, they always refer to the Seiko as the workhorse movement, Miyota movements, I, I think they're all workhorses, uh, they're fantastic, they're a great company, uh, I believe Miyota is owned by Citizen, you're getting a quality movement, right? So they have a great quality movement there from an established brand. You're not going to have any problems with it. Uh, it is a 24 joule and a 48 power reserve. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, there's a rotor in here for any of you who might be new to watches. Uh, again, I'm no expert. I'm giving you the real dumbed down version of it. There's a rotor in there. You move your arm around. You, you wear it. It self winds the watch. Uh, and once it's at full wind, you have a 48 hour power reserve. So you take it off, leave it for 48 hours, it'll still hold time. After it runs out, if it's fully charged after that, you gotta have to reset it. Um, it has a quick change snap and band headers, I'm gonna show you those. 316L stainless steel, that's pretty standard on any quality watch. Screw in link pieces and composite links. Uh, not a lot of information on their website. Um, detailed specifications, if you click that part of it, there are more, you, there, there is more information. Again, 20, 28,800 vibrations per hour. Uh, it does have automatic and manual winding. Waterproof to 50 meters, which is surprising. I would have thought they would have gone further with that, but still, you know, unless you're going to deep dive, not really a big deal. Uh, case height is 14 millimeters, so not a super thin watch, but not really thick. 42 millimeter case diameter, that's kind of like your standard size and a lot of your Submariners. Sapphire crystal with an AR coating. It looks like it has two layers of coating. Machined aluminum dial face. Um, and uh, this is about the different models, but this one here has stainless steel and carbon fiber. Not fake carbon, genuine carbon fiber links. Uh, which kind of, you know, carbon fiber is not a cheap material. And look at the size of these links. These are not just like... This is not a piece of plastic that's been plated or skinned with carbon fiber. These are real, to the best of my knowledge, they're real carbon fiber links, super strong. Uh, I mean, check it out. I call these Excalibur style hands. I don't know what they actually call them. Let me try to get this to focus here. But um, you can see they kind of look like, almost like a sword, like an Excalibur sword. They're very, uh, one looks like it almost has like a, like a, like a handle and a pommel. Uh, and then just a huge, huge, tri they're very like, to me, Excalibur comes to mind. Like, I could see these hands, like, in Game of Thrones or something like that. Um, the watch face is CNC machined. It's designed to kind of look like how their fishing reels look. Uh, kind of very chiseled. Just gorgeous. I mean, uh, non-rotating bezel. I like the fact that on the top of the hands, they have kind of like this round rotor-looking piece. 
and this top cap. Now, I don't believe that these pieces are actually screwed together, but there might be a seal in there. I just don't know. Um, I believe that is something that's probably glued to the top of the, um, of the crystal, but when I look at it, it's really hard to determine. So I would like to think that that's something that's been just really glued on there, but then again, when you think about it, you know, you wouldn't want to bump down something and lose the Visser logo right off the top of there. So very innovative, very unique. Um, you know, I'm pretty careful with my stuff, so I haven't had any kind of issues. Um, again, I don't know if that's something that's been sandwiched and the, the, um, the crystal's been tapped and that's been screwed in. Um, I, I suspect that this is somehow glued on here. Uh, but again, I don't, I don't really know. So, uh, but I've had it for over five years and no problems whatsoever. It's solid. There's no sharp edges on there to catch anything either. Very smooth. Um, they do show a loom shot on here, and it says it's super luminova. Um, I find that the loom, that the loom on this is pretty poor. Um, you know, and I hate to say negative things about watches, but if loom is your big concern, let me charge this up a little bit see if I can even see it. Um, the picture they show you really shows this watch glowing. To me, I never even see this watch glowing. So the loom is pretty poor in my opinion, but um, it does have some loom. I, I never really too, I'm too concerned. Uh, and they do show a picture on there showing the machining process of the dial face, um, the band header release detail, and a picture of the movement. It does have a screw down crown, and uh, that's really about it. Uh, it does say it's CNC machine cut from aircraft aluminum dial face, so a lot of aluminum on this, which is pretty pretty awesome because when you think about uh, watches, naturally you have 316L stainless steel, but you have a combination of different materials, aluminum on the face, uh, which is pretty awesome. The case itself is 316, um, and you can get this with a leather variation. I think this is the, the, the best one right here. Uh, they do make it in different colors. I believe that's called their Heritage um, uh, heritage model, and you get them in like blue, red, and green. Uh, this is just clean for me. I like it. They do have a DLC black version, which is pretty hot. Um, I encourage you to check that one out too. But again, with the black version, in my opinion, um, let me just go back here. And this is we talked about this in the past. Hopefully, they even have it on, this on here still. They might be totally out of the. Let's see. They have the ocean blue. The ocean blue, the sky red, and the sea green. I think they might be out of the, the full... Oh, no, there it is. Black diamond, they call it. So the black diamond one's pretty cool, too. My only gripe that I've said about the black diamond uh, is... And I'll show you guys. What, what do I always say about black watches? There's got to be something to really set them apart. Either they're huge or they have something cool in the dial. Again, this is just my opinion. The black diamond is pretty cool, but... When you look at the way that this is CNC machined out and you have this really intricate kind of like, I don't know what you call it, like lattice design, or you see how they're all, you have the black in between the CNC machined aluminum, right? So on the black one, it's a black dot, black insert underneath there, a black base with a black CNC machined um, top piece, right? So you don't have that decoration. My biggest gripe with that watch is that because you have the gold hands, they really pop. It would have been really cool if they just did either that CNC machined uh, piece there in gold or what I think would have been better is just have a gold layer underneath there. Let the black kind of really, let that gold pop through the black. You really see kind of like that lattice pattern. Uh, but they didn't, that's how they chose to do it. That's up to them. Uh, it just kind of makes the watch look a little boring to me. So again, in my recommendation, uh, if you're going to get this watch, I recommend you get it in the, they have a rawhide with a leather strap. Again, I think that the, the Visser series, the original series, to me, is really the best looking one they got. Now let's talk about the band. So some of you might be saying, oh, well, how do you, you know, is it stamped or is it milled? Uh, this is totally unique. So what you do, there is two buttons on each side of the, of the band here. Now they're a little tough to press. I'll, I'll definitely agree with that, but you get used to using them. So what you do, basically just press that and the whole band pops off like this. You can do it from both sides if you want. I'm sure you could change up the band if you want as well. Uh, you put on your a different band if you want, but I don't know why you'd want this. The band makes this. Uh, and so when you feel this, too, you can feel the stainless and carbon. Super cool. I mean, just amazing quality. Look at that carbon fiber. Nice thick links. Uh, they are screwed links. Uh, I will tell you, uh, well, let me put it on the wrist. So to put it on the wrist, basically just pop it on your wrist like so. And this is like a titanium coated pin here. You're not going to wear that down. And you just snap it on, and then it's on. 
I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's an incredible watch. Now, these are screwed links, and I will tell you something because I always want you guys to know. Uh, when I originally received this watch from Visser, uh, I tried to size it, and when you basically size a watch like this, you have two screws, put two small screwdrivers together, hold one of the screws, turn in the opposite direction, unscrew the, 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 uh, the pins, right? Pretty straightforward. They just would kept spinning, kept spinning. And I said, man, I can't size this. These, are, these have stripped screws. Uh, and, you know, people sometimes are a little prideful. Uh, they were like, no, no, you're doing something wrong, blah, 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 blah. You know, so I was like, listen, I'm not, I've sized many watches. These are stripped. I didn't do this. I just took this out of the box. They're all doing this, you know. No, no. So kind of blaming me. Um, and then they said, let's send you another band. They sent me a replacement band, same exact thing. So finally, a video's worth a thousand words. I showed them in the video, look, this is what's happening. Long story short, the, the factory where these are being produced were using the wrong screw. So luckily they've caught that. Uh, they fixed that problem before a lot of them went out. If by some chance you order this and you do have that problem, just know that that is a design flaw with some of their original models. I am sure that this company, based on this design and the communication I had with them, I'm sure that they fixed that problem and you won't have that problem. Uh, once they sent the replacement uh, that was correct and fixed, I didn't have any issues with it. It's perfect. Um, so uh, definitely, definitely an awesome brand. But I just want to give you guys that warning because if you're going to spend over $700 on a watch and you run into a situation like that, again, remember when you're sizing these, be gentle. You, you're, you, know, you can strip these yourself. Uh, be careful in how you do it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, you know, hold one, turn left, uh, and you won't have any kind of problems. Now, other other flaw I would say with this watch is that I remember sizing this watch and let's see here. What was it that bothered me? Um, I believe if you had a pretty big wrist, I believe it only came with two links. Uh, so, and again, don't quote me on that. There's something with the sizing. Definitely read the fine print and check your wrist size before ordering. Uh, but with this, if you notice, uh, let's see, is that correct there? Yeah, so with this, the way the links are is that the, let me double check that for a second here. Am I wrong on that? Yeah, so the sizable links, they give you half links, uh, which you can actually remove. I just want to make sure I'm not giving you guys a bump steer here. Something tells me, let me just stop myself there. Something tells me when I was sizing this that there was some kind of thing I thought about with the link and not being able to, maybe it had to do with not having a micro adjustment or something like that. But just kind of know that's how you size it. They do have the full links and the half links. And I think it had something to do with the size of the link. So if you wanted to remove the stainless link here to downsize it, uh, if you couldn't use the smaller link, you'd have to, yeah, you couldn't, you have to use one of these half links, that's what it was. So let's say you're like, oh, I have really small wrists. I want to get, you know, bring these two black carbon links together. Uh, you can't. You're limited to removing the full link. No, actually, that's what it was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so if you want to bring this down even more, you need this center link here. So if you remove this, you can't bring it together. So you, the, the most you can bring this watch down is with the sizable links. If you try to remove this sizable link, you can bring this out and bring the carbon to this kind of like female female plate or female female link, but you can't go any smaller than that. So you can't remove anything else. So that's the maximum. You can't keep removing links to downside it. That took forever. <laughs> so I uh, just kind of know if you have smaller wrists, again, I have a seven inch wrist. Uh, with this, I can get another, I'd say, quarter inch out of it. So I'd say if you have a six and a half, it's going to be a little loose on you, but just, just, you know, look at the, I don't know if they have that list on there, but just know, uh, you know, ask questions. If you guys are in the market for this and you're like, Hey man, I really need to know what that's actually going to measure. You guys always know, drop me a comment, drop me an email. I'll help you guys out the best I can. So again, I have a seven inch wrist, I'm about five foot seven and a half. I weigh about 180 pounds. And this is what it looks like. I got my size, my height, my weight price on this one here, 729 USD. Uh, as far as right now, I checked the other day. I thought I said in stock. This one is out of stock, which really sucks. Uh, as far as what is in stock, uh, let me see if the Tech Series is available. In the ocean blue, uh, looks like you can order this. Yeah, no, that's out of stock too. So pretty incredible. Man, I, I'm, I hope that all these are out of stock. Oh man, the green's out of stock? Uh-oh, this might have been something I should have checked before getting you guys all hot and bothered over it. 
Come on, here's the red, out of stock. I do find it odd that these are all out of stock because you would think that they would, ooh, that's new in the Tech Series in the Aqua Blue. Got a couple anchor links on it. 669 out of stock. Let's see if the DLC, oh guys, I am so sorry. That really sucks. Um, let's see if the DLC is available. Black Diamond Coating, let's see what we got. I'm sure it's got out of stock. So it looks like Rawhide, <laughs> luck updating you guys through all of them. Yeah, man, damn, the Rawhide was 649. So these are all out of stock. So, sorry guys. Anyway, I drool a little more. It doesn't mean they won't be back in stock again. Uh, I hope that this is a company that's going to keep making watches uh, because they really have something incredible and, uh, you know, like with anything that becomes popular and, and unavailable, uh, the price does usually go up on stuff like this. Uh, it is a beautiful piece and I'll put, uh, for now I'll put a link to the store. You can check them out a little more, read more about them. I will also put a link to eBay where maybe you could find one. Um, I'll email them again and maybe uh, hope that they get back to me. I'll try to drop a comment somewhere and see if I get some information on uh, when these might become uh, available again, if ever. Uh, they have the website back up. I would think if they're not going to make them again, uh, they would have some kind of public notice. I would hope that they would do that. Uh, but uh, let me just check while I got you guys here. Kind of a long video, a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, it says here, Happy New Year to 2020. The sale ends September 1st. Happy New Year 2019. Uh, wow, Black Friday and holiday savings. I don't know when this was. Let me see when this was. They did have a 30% off uh, discount on any watch of your choosing. Wow, I don't, I don't remember any of that. But, man, I don't think you're going to find these for 2021, uh, being that we're, we're getting close to, uh, to Black Friday here. But time will tell. We'll see. Uh, again, I'll keep you guys posted on what I find. What's interesting, too, they do have one here with all stainless steel band. That might have been an option as well without the carbon fiber, if that's not your thing. I think the carbon really sets it off. But anyway, guys, always check back on the video. I draw, again, drop me a comment, drop me an email. If I can get any information, I'll hook you guys up. Uh, but definitely check it out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I like when you guys uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about a watch. Um, you know, it's a fun hobby, and I think this is one you guys, at some point, should really add to your collection. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Take care.